In this video lesson, we will discuss stop orders and explain the difference between two types of stop orders, the stop and the stop limit. You will also learn how to enter basic stops in the Mosaic Order Entry Panel in TWS Mosaic. Typically, stop orders help get investors out of an existing position. Stop orders are intended to either lock in profits or limit losses. Alternatively, a stop order can be created to force the investor into a fresh position when a specified price is reached. In this case, the investor has determined that he wants to go long if prices rise above a specific price or else establish a new short position in the event that prices fall below a specified threshold. For both stop and stop limit orders, the user enters a stop price which, when penetrated, is a trigger that will make the order active. A stop order is not guaranteed to execute. So what is the difference between the stop and the stop limit order types? Upon penetrating the trigger price, a stop order becomes marketable and is intended to fill regardless of price. It does not have a specific execution price and may execute significantly away from its stop price. In that regard, it is not possible to estimate the impact of executing away from the trigger or stop price until the trade has filled. A stop limit order, on the other hand, has the additional component of a limit price associated with the stop price trigger. And while this eliminates the price risk associated with the stop order, it introduces the risk that the order might not fill at all and that the investor may miss the market altogether. Let's use this stock ticker with an existing long position as an example. Click on the line in the monitor panel to populate the order entry panel. Click right on the ticker to generate a chart and you can see that using the position indicator that the position is in profit. An investor may want to set a stop in order to lock in profits at a specific price. In the order entry panel, click on the sell button. From the quantity field, I will select the position as the amount of shares to sell. From the order type field drop down menu, select STP for stop. If you do not see this order listed, remember to click on the expand arrow at the bottom of the list. The price input field now displays a trigger price. Enter the price below the prevailing trading price of the security at which you want the order to become active. When that price is reached, the system will turn your order into a market order and sell until filled. You should also consider how long you want the order to remain open for. The displayed default is a day order, which the system will cancel at the end of the daily session if not triggered. Notice that the Goodsell cancelled selection is available should you wish to choose. Review the trade and when satisfied, click on the submit button to generate an order preview. When you have reviewed the details on screen, you are ready to transmit your order to the market. The transmitted order will appear on the activity window below on the orders tab. You can also see the red horizontal sell line below the prevailing trading price of the security in this chart. For a stop limit, the basic order entry is the same. Click on a ticker. This time, the position has open losses displayed, but the investor may want to close this losing trade with a stop limit order. Click on the sell button and select the position size from the quantity input field. Now, when selecting from the order type drop down menu, select the limit version of the stop order, which is displayed as STP LMT. The order entry panel now displays the additional input field for limit as well as the stop input field we saw in the previous example. Enter the price below the prevailing trading price of the security at which you want the order to become active. If reached, your stop order becomes an order to sell. However, rather than being a market order, the investor may enter a limit price below which the order will not execute. Enter a value in the limit field. Remember to change the time in force selection if necessary by clicking on the down arrow to reveal the TIF choices. The order is ready to submit. Click the button to generate an order preview. Ensure the details on the window are correct and then click the transmit button to send the order to the exchange. You will see this order appear in the activity panel below and again you can see the horizontal red line displayed on the accompanying chart. Finally, you do not have to have an open position to use stop or stop limit orders and investors may establish fresh long positions using a buy stop and new short positions using sell stop or stop limit orders.